In this video we're just going to have a look at the My Menu feature in the Panasonic GH6. So we've covered quite a lot of the customization features on the camera by now. Um, we've covered the Q or the Quick Menu um, and you've sort of seen that's really useful for um, being able to just sort of toggle things on and off quite quickly. Um, th there'll be a link to that above. Uh, we've gone through, we customised back buttons, we've customised front buttons. Um, again, you know, there'll be links to that and then you kind of take it a step further and we've come in and we've been customising our kind of custom uh, C dial modes. So um, that takes it obviously a step further than just having sort of one custom button or one custom menu. It essentially, it's, it's a way for us to um, create a whole kind of look within one menu so we could have... Um, you know resolutions frame rates we could have picture profiles uh, we can have all our different tools that we need available to us for that mode um, so that's a really great way to do it and then taking it one step further than that if we switch the camera on um, we've got if we click on the menu button you can see the first menu always, I always come into is this one and it's my custom menu so you can see I've just got a couple of things on here just bracketing and focus limiter um, and if we we've got sort of three user profiles there so you can see like three users and you can see the uh, little pencil at the bottom um, uh, in the edit mode the, the sort of pencil you can see we've got add sorting delete and display from my menu um, the first one we'll cover is just this bottom one so display from my menu um, it's a bit strangely named to be honest like the uh, what's happening there is essentially um, wherever we go in the camera menu so say I go to record quality and I'll just press the shutter just to pull us out of the menu and then I come back again I always end up in my menu whereas if I switch this off and then I go back to I'm just using record um, you know these record settings in the example but we hit the shutter again come back hit menu and then we're right back there so that's really useful because it's dropping us back to the last thing we set. Um, and if we're not using my menu, then there's really no point landing in my menu every time you press the menu button. So if you're not using my menu, just set that to off. Um, if you are going to use it, so we could turn it on. And then what we'll do is we'll just go through and sort of quickly see how to use it. So one thing I'm going to do, because I've got bits in here already, I'm just going to delete all, so this will delete everything from the My Menu. So you see we've got nothing in there now. And the only options we've got are the one we just covered and Add. So we'll click Add. And then this mode, um, I really, I'd reserve this for options that have sort of multiple menus in them. So things that are easy to toggle on and off, just set those in something like the Q menu or a button shortcut. Um, for anything that's a bit more in depth, this is really the place to have it. So um, something like, uh, br I, yeah, these actually these are the ones that are on there anyway. But bracketing is a good one because it's it's got options. You set your bracketing exposures, and it's um, yeah, it's it's a little bit more in depth than just a um, you know toggle it on and off. Um, let's have a look. What else could we put on there? They're all audio ones. Um, yeah, you could have manual focus options on that. Let's just jump back out anyway. So we've added that one. So we've got um, we've got bracketing now in our menu. Um, and these, although they look like separate menus, they're actually not. They're just pages. So um, I can't assign something to three and assign something to two or one, for example. Um, all I do is I just keep adding them. So, you know, add meter in mode, add photo mode, um, high resolution mode. That's quite a good one actually to add. Vignetting. Let's just add filter settings. And then when we come back, you'll see. Um, oh, I didn't quite add enough. Um, you can see there's a whole page on one. And then if we add just one more, I think it will be. I'll add two just in case. Let's add a couple more. And then when we come back, you'll see. Now menu two is starting to fill up because menu one is full. So they are pages as opposed to individual users or anything like that. But um, it, it can be really useful because, you know, we're back in the camera. We want to come in. We've got everything we need in, in here just sort of ready to go. 
Uh, most of them are greyed out because um, I'm I'm in the wrong kind of settings to use it. But um, an interesting thing about this is it, it can't be controlled per profile. So you can't have a custom mode that has one custom menu and then go to another custom mode and then it has a whole new My Menu setting. It's linked across them. So um, I'm in C1. If I were to go to... Um, if I were just to go to manual video, you know, you come in and they're just all the same. The ones for um, all the priority modes are all the same. There, there's no, um, there's no real way of changing them. And I can kind of show you that if I go to C1, um, I could come in and let's say for uh, for this one, I want to add. We'll add picture size on the end. And then we'll return. I'm not going to really go into this much on how to save it because we already know it. Uh, my one's been named. But that again, that's in another video how you can do that. Um, but I'm just going to overwrite C1. So C1's just been saved with that additional one on the end. So we'll go back and we can just have a look at that. So picture size you can see is on the bottom. Um, if I were to then go to movie mode and then say I. Sorry, if I delete picture size off the end and then we come back to C1, you'll kind of see that it's um, it's not retained the, uh, oh. yeah, sorry, picture size is gone. So yeah, it's not been, it's not been saved on there. So um, yeah, any changes you make across different profiles, custom modes, they happen for everything so this is kind of a global menu so um, you just need to be aware that it it, it will work in that way and um, the best way I've found to work with it is essentially um, it, because there are sort of pages like I said they're not independent menus but there are pages so what you can do is actually come in and use this sorting option so we've seen how to add we've seen how to delete and then sorting is quite useful actually because you could say take um, take your photo modes um, and then you could actually just bring them down so you have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of working out it it fits eight per menu so uh, your first eight for example could be video your next eight could be photo or you know just as an example so you can kind of split them out into menus you just have to be a bit clever clever about how you do it really but um, yeah, hopefully that's sort of been useful and it, it is a really, really good part of the camera because there are modes in there that sometimes you will want to access quite frequently and just because the sheer amount of options in the menu, they're so split out to be able to actually group them all together is just really nice. So it's, uh, it's well worth looking into uh, using that menu and like I say, if you don't use it, you can switch that option off and then it sort of doesn't get in the way of what you're actually trying to do anyway. So um, if that video has helped, then um, please give the video a like. And um, if you want to see more GH6 content, then please subscribe to the channel.